Hey, how's it going? Today's video, I'm going to test the Emerson chisel grind against some more traditional uh, everyday carry um, knife grinds. So, what I've done is I've got an Emerson CQC 7B. Uh, it's a really cool knife and I'm enjoying it. Um, but the obvious question is, does the chisel grind suck for your more standard cutting tasks? So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to put it up against a variety of materials and just share my thoughts at the end about you know how I think it fits in and if I think it has a place and what I think it does better and worse um, that your other grinds uh, do. So for the hollow grind, I'm using a Chris Reeve knife Sebenza, which has got a very sort of prominent, obvious hollow grind. Uh, for a flat grind, I'm using a Kaiser Gemini, and for a saber grind, I'm using a Benchmade 940. Um, so I think those are the sort of the four major main grinds that you get, or uh, the three main grinds that you get on um, most everyday carry knives. I know there's some convexes out there and that's the thing from Falcon even, but just keeping the basics. And, um, and then yeah, the full chisel grind of the Emerson, um, is it going to be horrible or is it going to be about the same? So let's get into it and have a look. So, 
I noticed that, in my opinion, the um, Emerson uh, chisel grind is about as good uh, at the more um, you know, the heavy, the heavy use uh, cutting tasks, so the things that don't need as much precision. So when I was cutting the hose, when I was cutting the rope, no problems at all. It is when the uh, at the minute direction of your blade travel uh, is important that you start to notice some problems. So it probably illustrated the most when I was cutting the cheese, which is you know obviously not something that Emerson is making his knives to do, but just something that if you're planning an everyday carrying an Emerson that's going to have a, a full chisel grind. It's, you're going to have to factor in, you're going to have to put a bit of twist on your cut and make sure you're guiding that that um, that edge down because that uh, chisel bevel is going to be pushing it away from the resisting material. Uh, and also what I noticed when I was cutting apples and cutting cardboard as well, there is a bit of a, it steers away from it and it just does and you can see obviously why it does that. Is that a problem? Well it depends on what you're carrying your Emerson knife for. Um, if you're using it as they suggest, as like a, as a harder use you know, deployment type blade, or just a you know a wrecking knife, or you know some for, for jobs where you're going to be doing unfinessed cuts, just slashes, stabs, pries, just you know cleaving material into, it's not going to matter at all. It's absolutely fine. It's a really sharp edge. It's a really keen edge. And in fact, I think with things like cutting the hose, particularly and the rope, um, it's actually you know, quite easy to do it and it actually felt as good if not slightly better than the other grinds um, just in terms of just wedging the material in half in the easiest possible way. Whether that's in my head I'm not too sure but um, so it's definite positive in terms of hard use grind, negative in terms of your fine use, your more you know everyday type stuff. This isn't news that's going to shatter Emerson fans because as you all know they're not made for you know doing the nice little gentle delicate tasks the chisel grinds are made for just being durable, being easy to resharpen, and, and um, yeah, just having a very low low maintenance, but you know, high high um, capability for that low maintenance. So that's just my thoughts so far. Will it affect me carrying the Emerson as an everyday carry knife? Well, it's not my intention to carry it as an everyday knife, uh, everyday carry knife anyway. It's sort of an alternative to perhaps my Spyderco Endura as something to take to work um, and use in a you know, hard use sense. So we'll see if that ends up panning out or not. Anyway, thank you very much for watching dudes, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. The Emerson review should be coming in the next, uh, I've got to actually get some proper use on it, so I'll be taking it to work, so probably in the next couple of weeks or so, maybe, to a month. I want to do some proper tasks with it to be able to um, give a proper assessment on the blade. Alright guys, I'll see you later.